my loves it is Caroline again if you're new here welcome 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 um, you can hit the subscribe button you'll see on the screen it's a little picture of my face and um, it's either round or square I don't know but it'll be somewhere linked on here if you just all you have to do is just click on that it's like so simple like click and you're done and subscribe to my channel and help me grow my channel with love please and um anyways yeah uh so this is going to be a first impressions wear test on the foundation and the prime uh, not the primer the concealer that i have never tried before so y'all saw me do the bh cosmetics haul which is linked on this video so watch that first and then this is from the haul we have their pro foundation and their concealer and in the concealer um i got number 100 and the foundation i got 201 ivory so i'm hoping these match me we'll see but okay so um about the foundation it's a liquid foundation and it says that it's natural element impeccable naturally flawless so it's supposed to look like just skin but it's supposed to be like kind of sheer but then a medium to full coverage and I really like this bottle because this is a glass bottle so that is nice like look at that some high-end foundations come in a little plastic crappy tube and I mean come on companies pick up the pace if BH Cosmetics can come in a glass bottle and not charge that much for the foundation then you can put your expensive af products in a glass bottle instead of a little plastic or rubber or whatever tube uh if they can do it you can do it because you're making a lot more money than they are with them high prices now this right here is in a little tube but it's not that small i do want to show y'all oh, i don't have it right here never mind i was going to show y'all the um this other little concealer it's like this big but so you actually get quite a bit in here um the foundation's one fluid ounce this is 24 milliliters okay and this says this is total coverage concealer um this is supposed to be full coverage apply directly on imperfections and blend with a fingertip or a bh cosmetics concealer or detailing brush but i do like brushes but we're going to use the new sponge that i just showed in a video this is by eco tools this is how it looks when it's wet it gets a lot bigger i really like how it has the line so you can get right under and right here on my fingers but i just put it on my face and it is thick look up close you guys that's thick the thicker the better because y'all know I'm a full coverage girl. Okay, since the pump wants to act like an idiot, we're going to take it off and we're just going to go in like this. Dun, dun, dun. This is the perfect color for me. It really is. I know it looks super white, but it, it is. This is like my color. Um... Oh my gosh, you guys, look how much coverage it gives. Okay, I would say that this is definitely a medium buildable coverage. That's what I would say. Um, like you could definitely build this up as much as you wanted and make it uh, like if you even want more and you want a thicker coat, if you feel like something's not really covered and it just looks too sheer, you can thicken it by just adding some more on top of there. But when you add more foundation, you always want to go in real quick with it. And then you want to look at it. And then you want to go right back in if you're going to add more and add it. Because when you let it dry and go back in, it's kind of like that dryness you're putting wet on top of dryness. Like if you're going in with a wet product on a powder, it's going to be kind of scaly looking, if you know what I mean. Patchy and stuff. So go right directly in before it has a chance to even dry if you decide you want to add more. Um, I love this foundation right now. I can tell you. We're going to do a wear test. I'm going to wear it all day. I have some errands to go run. I will check in with y'all in my bathroom like I do under the LED lights. Just to show y'all, um, how it looks and everything. If my, you know, um, face still looks good and everything. But it has covered everything literally it has covered everything i'm just like oh my gosh it's so pretty like my face it's not thick okay um it's thick enough to spread around but when you spread it around it shears out but it still holds its coverage 
so it's not like um you know minimum coverage or anything this concealer right here they claim that this is total maximum full coverage well y'all know i'm a full coverage girl but i don't want no cakey face so it comes in a little tube like this and you just squeeze some of it out Ooh, okay so this one is, ooh, that's a pretty color. Yeah, that's lighter than my foundation. On your concealer, you always wanna make sure that you go at least one or two shades lighter than your foundation because you, you want to highlight the high points of your face. Actually super thick. Um, wow, look at that coverage. Okay, I'm gonna go in here and add some. I'm gonna add some to my Cupid's bow. I'm going to add some to my nose and up top. I'm going to do right here on my forehead. Um, let's go underneath our eyes and over our eyes. Okay, let me see. This is super thick, you guys. It's not as thick as this, the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, that's like one of my favorites, but I also love the Maybelline Age Rewind. That one is so good too, but oh my gosh, look at it, you guys. That is really, really good coverage. And move like the product if you, if you wait too long. It actually, you know, gives you a chance to like rub the product out and everything and just um, blend it really, really good. Okay, let me see. I need to get right there. Oh, that is just so pretty, you guys. Okay, I'm obsessed. I think I found a new favorite. At the end of the day, we're gonna do a check-in and we're gonna do the LED trick where we get under the LED lights and it shows everything. Y'all are gonna be all up in my business and my face. And we're gonna look together and see, ah, my earring just fell out. That's about right. Um, and make sure that everything is as it should be. Let me put my earring back in. Do you know how many times my earrings fall out? Like, comment below if that happens to y'all. You have earrings on and you go to like move your hair or anything or anything. And your freaking earrings just like pop out. How annoying is that? Okay. We're going to take our um, big Eco Tool sponge right here that we have. It's still dampened and we're just going to dip into that powder and I'm going to use this side, which is the longer side, and you just take it like that and it sticks to the sponge. What I'm going to do is set your eyelids. I know I say that repetitively, but that's the first thing you want to do and because if not, they're going to crease and you're going to have if you have hooded eyelids especially, like you're gonna have a line on there that's dry. So when you go back and you try to do it, you're gonna have all this cakiness. If you want it to be flawless and smooth for your eyeshadow, you need to make sure that you go underneath your eye, under your lash line and on the top, like right below your brow, and that you go over that before you even set your whole face and put a powder down to make it look flawless. Just like this. okay and then you want to go underneath and then just come over here i just like do the middle and then i just like boop switch to the other side if your sponge um doesn't have any more powder just re-dip it in the powder like that and then go in here and there's no such thing as putting too much powder on here because with this translucent it doesn't have any color to it it's colorless that's the good thing about translucent so you're not changing your foundation color it's not too dark or too light you're just using it to set your face and make sure everything is matte so that you can go in with um, your products that are um, powdery. Because you never want to have like a damp face and go in with uh, dry products like your blush and your highlighter and your contour and your, you know, all that, your bronzer and stuff. Because then it's going to move all the product around and it will not look good. So you always want to make sure that you set your face. It is very important. So do you see how that looks flawless? Like I'm just pushing the product in there. I'm pushing the powder into the foundation and the concealer. And it looks seamless right now. It doesn't look cakey or anything. That's why I really like using the wet sponge trick to do the powder. Is because it's so much better than the brush. The brush tends to move the wet foundation and concealer around. And it doesn't look as smooth. But this just looks really, really pretty. I, oh my gosh, this is so pretty, y'all. Y'all have to try this. Comment below if y'all have tried this. 
foundation or concealer and comment below what are your thoughts on it or um, how are you thinking about getting it. Maybe this um, tutorial will help y'all. So if you've been deciding and debating or not just, but yeah, um, I will be back to y'all soon with another tutorial, but thank y'all for watching. I love y'all so much. And like I always say, if I don't see you soon, I will see you later and peace. I'll see you on the flip side. Hey my lovies. Yes, in case you're wondering, I am doing my um, foundation and concealer check-in at the end of the night. Oh, I have to say, I'm not going to lie, I am feeling tired because right now... It is literally just about to be morning time to where like the sun is going to come up. <laughs> I have been up all night editing videos. <sighs> but, and yes, I am sitting on my bathroom counter. There I am sitting there, just sitting and sitting and sitting. So that's me sitting on my bathroom counter because your girl is getting tired. But anyways, this is a whoops. This is a foundation. Let me hold it from the side. I don't have my tripod on. This lipstick is bomb. So this is the end of the night foundation check-in. And I'm in the bathroom as per usual, where this is where I always do my check-in so y'all can see with my LED lights on me. They're all LED. Oh, sorry, I'm tired. Oh, it's late. Ooh. Now I can't even say it's late because late is like at night, but it's like literally, it's like literally morning. Like, I don't even know what time it is. My phone's in there. My phone is in there. I don't know. All I know is that the sun's about to come up. I've literally been up all night. My hair is the same. I didn't take off any jewelry. I just went and sat in there in the chair after I got home and started editing, editing, editing. And for y'all that edit, y'all know it takes a while. It takes me a while. Whew. Okay. It is bomb. Okay. You know why? Because it's not splotchy if y'all see it. Okay. If you notice, I am not oily. Like, what you see right there is the highlight that is still popping. A. Hey. Um, I love this foundation. I think it's full coverage. I think it's super nice. It's not cakey. It's buildable. Um, it's flawless looking because if you notice, it looks like my skin. Like, I don't have oil coming out or anything. And I don't have any cakey face. Or anything like that let me get like right under my lights there we go that is super smooth and it's still covered like the coverage is still there see even in the sides of my nose look how smooth it is on top of my nose look how smooth see normally like a foundation like after you wear it for so long it starts peeling right here getting cakey and it just looks really gross where you just want to like fix it I haven't even touched it till right now. And I'm like looking at it going, oh yeah. Like that's good. Under the eyes, they're still bright. Um, let's see, forehead. Mm, yeah, it's still on there. Think of the foundation and the other products and everything. The concealer also is full coverage. Like they ain't lying when they say that's full coverage. That stuff shears out, but it is some coverage. And it works perfect with the foundation. So since I know that it works, I've wore it all night. It didn't make my skin itch, irritate, or break out, hopefully. Um, I am going to get on the website, of course, and order me multiples of those foundations and concealers because they are a good price for both of them. And uh, for the makeup to look like this after putting it on this morning, and, 
not even like messing with my face like powdering it or any of that i normally wouldn't do that anyway even if i was really oily i didn't even use blotting sheets i was just like whatever but um after it's been on that long i would say that it is approved that i <sighs> absolutely love it and it gets to join my makeup vanity family as if i don't have enough yay so they each get a kiss ow i just hit my finger on the counter gosh <sighs> i think it's time to end it here anyways y'all comment below i've showed y'all up close and everything i mean i don't know how much more close-up i can get there's a close-up Uh, but I love y'all. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And like I always say, if I don't see you soon, I will see you later. And peace. I'll see you on the flip side. I can't even do that. Look, my jaw got long. Peace. I'll see you on the flip side.